good morning students today we are going to discuss on a very relevant topic because our examination is nearby so our, my topic of discussion is exam writing skill and stress management so how to improve your exam writing skills and uh, how to deal with your stress <clears throat> so this is my topic of discussion so in this discussion i would discuss about uh, introduction and tips to get relief from stress tip team tips to improve concentration tips how to improve writing skills and some discussion will discuss so this is our university visionary people our honorable chancellor vinay agarwal sir and our honorable vice chancellor dr anand mehlwar respected registrar dr bp bhol and this is our university it is situated in the <coughs> chura block kosmi village so it is a uh, bird eye view of university and this is the awards and recognition uh, of our university so these are the department where we are working the management commerce science engineering and technology information technology design pharmacy life sciences yoga and naturopathy arts and humanities law and library science so these are the some glimpses of uh, university activities so i am starting my discussion with the picture which is uh, clearly showing the corona pandemic uh, image and uh, from last two and a half years we are the victim of uh, the situation and the situation uh, dragged us to the means forcefully we are dragging to the e learning uh, content and we are forced to study from e learning online learning and this is uh, maybe a advantage because i am interacting with you because of this uh, platform only and uh, there are some many disadvantages also that we are facing and due to this uh, e learning so people are means uh, suffering and they are victimized and uh, getting a uh, lots of stress because uh, stress is not related to only uh, ease of uh, things it also relates to so many other things uh, in our daily life so what is the stress so, so first i would like to share what uh, the stress is a state of mind so it is a state of mind where you feel that you are stressed stress is a mind body reaction or response to a situation and it is also to flight or flight from the situation or fight Uh, the situation so both are the situation you are handling so how you are handling that is uh, also connected with your stress so in mathematical form you can uh, simply uh, explain stress as p is greater than r where s is a stress and p is your pressure that can be your that could be your work pressure or study pressure and whatever so here we are uh, focused on the student perspective that means we are focused on student uh, pressure study and um, challenges in this pandemic what they are going through so then when this pressure is greater than the resources which we are having so that uh, results this stress so what are the causes of stress so first uh, we can say that when a situation or condition is not acceptable to us that will lead to a stress and when we want to get something but are that thing are not uh, available that is the but are unable so this is uh, also causing a stress when your ego hurts that means if you are if you want a favorable feedback comment or and you are getting some criticism uh, for your any thought any work any um, means uh, uh, that should be appreciable but uh, uh, suddenly you are getting a uh, criticism towards that particular incident so that also leads to a cause of stress when we lose something which we feel as important and uh, we should understand that stress is mostly due to your uh, fear of future uh, what people will say and worry about your past and so much due to present moments so these are the three major factor and these three major factors 
are most uh, responsible for the stress and it is always due to perception of your mind i i already told you that it is a state of mind so different people means everybody is feeling this uh, stress in different levels for the same situation so uh, maybe uh, <clears throat> in discussion also we are feeling some stress that depends on uh, how you are dealing so first and uh, second is you should know that you are stressed or not because uh, thing when you realize that you are in stress then only you can uh, take the remedial step for that so first you should know that you are stressed or not so you should ask yourself that uh, if you are at your workplace or you are at a school that you are feeling irritated or not <clears throat> and uh, always when you are achieving less than uh, what you deserve uh, then how you feel almost always feel the pressure to success succeed feel there is work uh, more work than you could you can handle you feel exhausted confused irritable much of time uh, frequently have disturbed sleep notice a change in your appetite often have aches and uh, pains so these are the symptoms that uh, you are going through a stressed uh, life so is always your uh, stress is uh, harmful no sometime it is very uh, useful and that sometime is very rare when you get the extra energy to meet your physical challenges and solve the problem and reach the goal but most of the time it is harmful because <clears throat> it causes headache back ache loss of appetite fatigue digestive problems depression difficulty in focusing thoughts and impaired memories so these are uh, you can see that there are only uh, some of uh, the helpful and uh, advantages of from stress and there are lots of disadvantage from the stress so you you must focus on the good part of your stress so then only you will uh, take the better part of the stress <clears throat> so how to identify what are the symptoms of the stress already we discussed in the uh, earlier slide so these are the symptom which you uh, observe in, in your inner part so these are the four different uh, uh, symptoms physical mental behavioral emotional first we will talk about the physical symptom so physical symptom already discussed the sleep sleep pattern changes fatigue digestion changes headache a and uh, different aches and uh, pains infections indigestions uh, fainting and sweating and trembling tingling hand and feet so these are the physical symptoms of the stress and when it come to mental symptoms <clears throat> then you feel lack of concentration memory lapses and difficulty in decision making you are confused how what to do what not to do and which is good and which is bad and Uh, you are uh, very confused about um, in making decisions confusions disorientation you are not oriented in one direction you uh, suddenly think about something and you just started doing the other thing and uh, uh, panic situations arises and uh, there are so many uh, situations you suddenly get very panic and uh, thinking about your uh, means worst part and uh, uh, getting de deteriorated from your uh, actual work what you are doing and behavioral uh, uh, symptoms are eating disorder appetite changes increased intake <clears throat> of banned substance may maybe that that can that could be any uh, drug or any um, this uh, uh, liquors and whatever which you uh, taking uh, for relaxation restlessness and uh, nail biting some people are doing uh, nail biting and uh, folding their hands and uh, so these are the uh, symptoms of behavioral symptoms and uh, emotional symptoms also also there bouts of uh, uh, <clears throat> depression impatient fits of rage tearfulness deterioration for of personal hygiene and appearance so this all these four kinds causes so many severe diseases like cardiovascular disease asthma diabetes and digestive disorder ulcers uh, skin com complaint and these all uh, things are a uh, result of uh, taking severe stresses
so how to manage this stress so first thing you should do, uh, say no to this fast foods because this fast foods makes you very uh, unhealthy and uh, your thought process and everything is depends on your uh, food your intake you <clears throat> say uh, you should say yes to my sports healthy foods music and uh, something which you feel calm which you make uh, which make makes you calm and uh, stress free so this is the th uh, thing you should use and one more thing one more strategy you should use which is called abc strategy so in abc strategy so what is a a means you should aware that you are in, in a stressed condition because if you don't know that you are going through a stressed condition then how you will deal so th this is the first thing you should aware that you are uh, going through uh, stress and you should know the cause what are the cause you uh, for the uh, stress <clears throat> and uh, how do you you react in that uh, particular uh, condition <clears throat> second when you are aware then you can starting uh, make a balance of this uh, stress position so how you are uh, scoping up with the this stress position and the last is your control how you are combating how you are controlling uh, from the negative effects of the stress so this abc is very helpful you should know and you should aware you should balance you should control and there are uh, very uh, basic tricks uh, towards this uh, to increase your concentration and manage st uh, stress so first uh, uh, the steps is uh, make a right timetable you should make a right timetable you always think big but start small and when you uh, start small and accomplish a small small things then it leads to a, a great achievement because if you are not making a, a accomplishment of very small uh, target then it is very difficult to achieve a great or big target and you should know the peak concentration time if you focus on uh, examination which this board board examinations are there the school examination are there and people are thinking to take uh, offline classes and last two and a half years we are going through online uh, examination system and suddenly we are uh, here now we are thinking about the offline examination so you should uh, understand what are the uh, challenges you are going to face so you should know what is your peak concentration time that may be in the morning that may be your midnight whatever uh, you are feeling but better time is always preferring uh, that in the early morning is the right time to study and uh, which is very fruitful second you should have sufficient sleep and uh, after taking sufficient uh, sleep you should not feel sleepy in the uh, during your work or workplace or during your study time so sufficient sleep is also required because your brain is also requires a sufficient sleep then only you can work better if uh, you have examination in the very uh, edge of the uh, month and uh, you started your study and you always in uh, very uh, condition so definitely you have to convert your worry time to study time because if you are uh, just worry about your target and so it is uh, it will not help you you should uh, think about how to means, uh, uh, complete your course and cover your uh, syllabus on time and you should stick to your timetable and you have to complete each and every commitment you which you made uh, to yourself so uh, it is very recommended that you should convert your worry time into study time and that will uh, means uh, definitely that will uh, avoid your stress uh, in my earlier slide also it, it is discussed that you should have right diet not very heavy but not very uh, less that must contain nutrition which will give uh, to your body and uh, in the study time if you are get exhausted you must uh, warm up yourself uh, whenever you feel exhausted then again you start it you take it a uh, small break then again you start and after accomplishment of your uh, success means if you are if you are if you studying and you targeted that you will complete one chapter 
in this first hour so after that achievement you should uh, reward to yourself and you feel that you completed this thing because self motivation and self encouragement is very much required when you are doing anything in uh, in your own level so this reward after every session is very much required and uh, definitely you should be ready for your a task because uh, now the things is not uh, in your part you have to work out otherwise you will be in very uh, last in your race of your study or examination because result will tell everything and the result makes you uh, that you are uh, studied or not so better you start from whatever uh, wherever you are uh, there you should start your study and uh, stay away from the uh, many social platform avoid uh, this uh, platform it is very difficult to uh, keep yourself uh, away from this uh, gadgets and this apps and social network but try to uh, take at least uh, one month or two month which is uh, uh, which are there only to study so <clears throat> this is required to get your uh, work done because uh, this will distract from your original direction and uh, student always should ask that why study is important what is the importance of uh, study in your career how you want to boost your career and what is your ultimate target because if you do not know about these answers then it is very difficult to uh, focus on focus on your uh, studies because if you know that after uh, clearing your 10th examination or 12th examination you will achieve this thing then only you will start uh, focusing on it and you will get this get something in examination or in your study in both condition you choose your uh, important but in examination when you are writing uh, take uh, easy questions first and but when you are studying then you st you should start difficult question first and uh, question and topic first because in examination preparation or in at the time of examination these are the two different psychology in examination when you, while you are writing if you are uh, taking a difficult question uh, which is very uh, if, even you don't know that you, you will get the answer or not then it's, it is very difficult and it will uh, you will be demotivated and when you start your answer with uh, a easy easy one then it will boost your uh, confidence and definitely you will uh, know and get the idea to write a difficult difficult question if you have time so this is very important uh, tip uh, definitely you should have this uh, uh, meditation do meditation and change your thinking you always change your thinking towards the positive direction because your thinking will lead to a different uh, uh, step because if you are thinking in a right direction then you will get the all the uh, best wishes from the people but if you are uh, not optimistic and you are taking yourself as a granted and you are thinking about yourself as a negative thoughts then it is very difficult to get the uh, success you always think positive towards you because you should know, you should always uh, believe in you because you are the you are you are the only person who who can do it nobody nobody in the world can replace you you have the unique properties amongst you so for writing skill you read so many things you read read and read you write a daily diary make writing a daily exercise and because if you are writing daily and how much you are writing that also you Uh, judge uh, do editing sessions develop a clear message and definitely the only thing you sit down and write so these are the basic tips where your reading habit your writing habits can improve your writing skills only nothing more than this uh, can improve your writing skill because uh, when you are going to write your examination it is very much required to write in a time frame because if you are um, uh, skipping your time uh, uh, time frame then it is very difficult to uh, maintain your uh, examination in a particular time so reading and writing this is that should be your compulsory exercise in a whole day routine
so this is my uh, discussion uh, towards uh, the board examination or examination for school students and college students in this uh, pandemic time thank you very much for listening this uh, lecture uh, i will come with other uh, lectures also in uh, current context thank you very much for listening